Hey there, homeschool friends. This is Carrie with Any Day Blessings again. We just got home from the pool again. Got the frizzy pool hair going on again. The kids are over here at the counter. What are you guys doing? Doing puzzles. Doing puzzles. Puzzles at the counter. We just finished up lunch and I got the mail and I just wanted to show you this real quick. So this is like really impromptu, not planned, real life sort of thing. So I just got the mail and I've been really excited to show you what we're going to do for reading in grade three because I just couldn't find like an all-in-one program and I really didn't want to just like pick books out kind of you know on the fly I wanted to have some sort of a plan that we could change if we wanted but I wanted to start off with some sort of a plan and the more I thought about it the more I thought you know I really really love book links from BG Press why not just make up you know a year full of book links you know or something well, the problem is, is that they only make three, two or three book links per grade level. So I can't just do just those book links um, for the year. Now, I didn't actually grab the other one. I have one more here now. I have Pulling Together. I have The Treasure of Pelican Cove. This just came today. I have The, the Case of the Dognap Cat. And they come with the books to read, too. This just came in the mail. I bought these off of a buy, sell, trade. And so I knew that I wasn't going to have, like, enough just doing those three book links, okay? Now, there are other book links. I think there's Carolina's Courage, and I think there's another one that I could use for third grade as well. But I knew it wasn't going to be enough to, like, fill up our year. And so I thought, well, at that point, maybe we can just do a book link and then just pick some books from the library. And do a book link and pick some books from the library. But then I happened to find um, Moving Beyond the Page. Have you heard this? It's... You know, it's out there. I've heard about it before. But you can actually purchase the language arts literature units separately. So this is typically a unit study with science, social studies, geography, language arts, everything all mixed together. Everything but math. And I guess they are starting to do math in some of their units now too. But everything but math. I didn't need all that. I just wanted a literature study. I just wanted something that had activities and things like that along with reading a book. That's all I wanted. So I was thrilled to see that you can purchase just the language arts portion um, in this one book. It's about going to take us three weeks to do this one book, and then the other book links will take about that time, uh, between two and three weeks to do, and we'll just alternate. Uh, for right now, I have four. I've got three of the BDU book links and one of the Moving Beyond the Page uh, literature units, one of those. So I've got four units, or four literature studies ready to go and then I have a whole list that I will be sharing on my blog of the other books that I'd like to pick up from the library. So that's my plan right now. I'm really excited about it. I will happily flip through any of these things that I just showed you but I just wanted to kind of let you know my plan because I've been telling you that I'm doing something different for reading this year and these came in the mail today and I just thought I'm just gonna come on and show them to you. If you want to see a flip through leave that below and I will certainly do that. If you've never um, caught um, my other video about BGU Press book links and you're not sure what they are, I do have another video on the book links um, on my channel here so you can check those out so you can see what they're all about. I think they're by far my absolute favorite, um, favorite literature study because they really do the hands-on projects well and they balance um, that hands-on component with comprehension questions really well. They, they provide a lot of comprehension questions, but you don't necessarily have to ask all of those. But a lot of other places just gave worksheets in their, or a lot of other publishers just gave worksheets in their literature studies. And there are just tons of hands-on fun crafts, science projects, I mean everything that you can think of in these book links. I really wish, if anyone from BJ Press happens to ever watch, I wish you'd make more book links. I wish that I could make a reading curriculum out of book links because they are so well done. I love the books. And you know what you could do? You could even just, you could make up the book links to go with your Journey Forth books. You know, you could do that. But then have some book links to go with other literature that still meets um, the values that, you know, your company wants to promote. And then we could have more book links. <laughs> so Mom, I think that would be great. Mom, this part would actually be big square. Oh, yes. this one. Oh, yes, that they're all going to be squares and rectangles. 
Those puzzles aren't funny shaped ones. They're not like your ones in the bag. So we are just going to go and we are going to have fun looking at these and start our next read aloud, which will be A Question of Yams, which is also a Journey Forth book from BGU Press. I love their little chapter books, their little beginning um, books for read alouds because they still have pictures in them a lot, of the a lot of the times and I love the message of the books. They really have good um, themes and content that I just feel comfortable not even having to preview them before. And that's, that's a real blessing <laughs> to a busy homeschool mama. So I will leave the link below for the Journey Forth books if you want to check that out or BGU Press uh, book links. I will leave the movie button on the page link below. If I remember, if I forget, just someone tell me that I forgot to leave those links. And I will um, catch you later with, um, what's the next video I'm doing? Oh, our walkthrough of how we're going to do our geography. I posted another video uh, this week about our geography curriculum, but I'm going to show you how we're going to use it in the, the next upcoming video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.